This is an example application, ABC Job and Inventory Tracker. Say that we've got a job and we want to select an item from our inventory. We've got this selector in the middle. So once we select it, we want this to not be available for a second time. Let's look at take a look at the job. You can see we've got a Lenovo 4 gig um, PC3. Let's add another selection here. When we come over here to make a selection, notice that one isn't available. There's a one terabyte, um, three and a half inch drive. Let's select that and then save. And now we've got two of these things. And you can see there's a little checkbox that says it's in use. Every time I select something, let's see if we can find that uh, uh, terabyte drive. No terabyte drive anymore because it's reserved. So this information, every time we do this, it's bringing over from the job's beginning date and end date. We're passing that down here. And as I add an item, this date is present. And there, there's a status field here that it's reserved. And I trust that when you're finished with the job that you would actually not assume that it was released, but you had to release it. So... So in that, in that regard, this and these dates are all figuring out whether or not this formula, let's go over and look at it, is checked. So this says if uh, today is greater than the start date uh, and today is before the end date, so there's the window, and the status is reserved, then be checked. So how that means it's reserved, right? That's, that means when it's reserved. So let's take this Ethernet controller. So this item is looking at these things, and this is reserved. I'm going to save it. Okay, now let's go take a look at it, the Ethernet controller. Here it is. It's in reservation mode. I've got a summary field that goes back up to here. And let's look at the conditions in the relationship back to the item. So items have selections. So you can see the number of items reserved. And it's the number of items where that checkbox is checked. So once we get up to the parent, now we need to set the availability of that. Well, here we are on an item up here. We've got a field that says number of items reserved. So this is reserved. If I uncheck this, this would disappear. Or if I should change the status to released, this disappears. This will only be available if this is zero. Watch when I delete this record. And what? let's make sure we get the right um, item number, 5729. So I'm going to delete this item. And let's go back to 57, is it, what did I say, 5729. And you, you can see it's available. This is available because it's not reserved. So we're really taking the occupation of it, the formula, the formula is summarizing up, and that controls whether or not this available is checked or not checked. We then create a report of only those that are available. So we've got a report, and this report says, just show me all the pieces, okay? Um, and let's look at the customized filter. The filter says, only show me those where the available is checked. So that means once it's reserved, it's no longer able to be checked. So when we actually use that as a picker, we'll go back into here where, we, where we're where we actually um, add, um, selecting the picker. Here is the item. And you can see that the, that the items are listed here are only the ones that are available. And how did we use that report? Let me edit the form and look at the selector. It is using that report called available items. And that is only showing us the ones that are available. So in there somewhere is a, a way of having a job. Um, and as you have a piece of equipment used, it tells the item that it's busy and not to be used in any future. Now, once this is returned, you, ch you change the status of that to released. And then that checkbox gets unchecked. The summary field gets uh, uh, unchecked is now it's or checked because it's available and now you could use it for a different job.